Hanlon. Is she here? Oh, it looks like I'm in the wrong place. I received a letter from Miss Virginia a few days ago, and I wanted to deliver the answer to her personally before it's published tomorrow. I'm a reporter with the Sun. Uh, so she wrote this question I thought was pretty important. So uh, perhaps I can read you all my response and see what you think. Here's the question. Dear editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say that there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, if you can see it in the sun, it's my paper, then it is so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? So I decided this was a really, really important question. Because I realize, of course, that Miss Virginia is not asking just about Santa Claus. She's asking about imagination and transcendence and adventure and faith. Is there somebody bigger than this world, this mundane reality that I live in? And does that somebody care about my good? Is my innocent belief in what I've been told before this day, is it real or am I a fool? So of course, Miss Virginia reaches out to an expert. She reaches out to a grown-up, right? Which in her mind is the intermediary between her reality and this immensity of this world in which she longs to believe. So I've decided to answer Miss Virginia with the truth, by which, of course, I mean that my answer addresses the question within and beneath the question. And my answer, I hope, little a answer, will lead her to the answer. Virginia. Their little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant. In his intellect, as compared with the boundless world around him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and light. The external light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if you did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world, Virginia, are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they're not there. Mm -hmm. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders that there are unseen and unseeable in this world. You tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside, but there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture 
the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world, there is nothing else more real and abiding. No Santa Claus? He lives and lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. Thank you.